You've all been part in the last couple of weeks of this sensational story, You've become instant heroes, um, played incredible football, lived out some of your dreams. How special has it been? It's probably been the best feeling, best feeling ever really, I think, um, to do it with friends, people you, you see outside of football, um, and people you grew up with really, just being able to do that and to step out on Wembley was special for, for us all really, and obviously some people making debuts and certainly all of our first game in a, in a final for Liverpool. It's a special, special feeling and I don't think there can be much better really. Very solid start that for Virgil 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> Is the fact that you've done it together, does that make it more special? Yeah, definitely. Obviously we've played with each other for the last few seasons um, in the youth teams and like when we're doing it, especially at Wembley, seeing like when I came on and then looking over and Jaden and McConnell are coming on, it's it's special, yeah. Most special moment for you? Yeah, definitely, yeah. I think to play in a final with like the state of the game as it was and how late we scored the winner, I think, yeah, it'll take some, some topping. Lewis, how many times have you watched that goal back? Uh, a lot of times, <laughs> a lot of times. Does it get better every time? Uh, yeah. <laughs> just watching, watching the ball at the back of the net is just the best feeling. The trust and belief the manager has showed in you has been incredible, hasn't it? Yeah, I think if you look what he's done the last five, however long he's been here, like we've got, sometimes you expect it, you see with Trent, Kurt, Stefan last year, obviously some of the lads have played big parts this year. I think you're always going to expect that he's going to give you the nod and you just got to be ready to, to try and take your chance and hopefully we can keep doing it as we have. But that moment, whether it's lifting the trophy or Virgil's header hitting the back of the net, what is that like? I don't think you can actually put in the words whenever, whenever Skip scored Virgil. Um, it was one of the best feelings ever, like whenever you knew we'd won the game, like it was, it was, it was brilliant. Like, so, and to know that we'd won our first trophy playing for the club and obviously to walk out starting uh, with the team was, was a special feeling, so no, it was brilliant. Like. It's something that since you were five years old and you've dreamed of all your life happens in one moment. So it's sort of 15, 15 years of, of hard work and everything put into one moment. It's hard to, it's hard to say what that's like. What do you think, Bobby? Why do you think everyone has looked um, so ready? The stuff you do with the 18s and 21s, it replicates the first team in terms of like how they play, how they press and stuff. And then obviously before we've had our chances here, we've been training with them a lot and obviously going on pre-season, getting like a month with them, seeing how they do things, seeing how they train learning stuff off like top players. I saw an interview Jamie Carragher did with Alex Inglethorpe, who was talking about the importance of humility. You all seem to like a humble bunch, you know, not having too big a car, not having too expensive a watch too early. Do you think that off the field stuff moulding you? I don't know you came slightly later, but does that all play a part in, in helping you when it comes to the big moment? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, I came when I was um, 16 and then I found out on my first day that I had to give my phone in. <laughs> and, then, and then get it back at. Um, oh right, sorry, I didn't. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so you when you come in, that? when you come in as a scholar, you you hand your phone in in the morning, then get on with your day, and then go back up to get it at the end. There is stuff that they put in place to keep your feet on the ground and stuff. Yeah, I think that's really important. So when you do get the chance and you take it and stuff, you still remember where you came from and stuff. What about you, Connor? I can't imagine you. Obviously, don't know you very well, but mm -hmm. I just can't imagine you getting carried away. So who keeps you humble? I'd probably say my family would probably be the biggest one. Um, my mum's brilliant at making sure, well, always thinking that I haven't made it yet. Like, it's, it's still a long way to go to... Do you still feel um, that now? Yeah, I still feel that now. I still, I still have a long way to go yet to, to be like a season pro for likes of, I don't know, Trent or, or Robbo. Um, but also Robbo helps me quite a bit as well. He just helps me to, keeps telling me to just be consistent and keep consistency is the main one, so yeah, probably my family and, and a couple of the senior ones here. Yeah, so I was going to ask all of you actually, senior pros, who, who do you look up to, maybe when you were a kid and now, who, who helps you along? Um, in that dressing room, I look up to mainly all the forwards and Rage obviously is a brilliant, brilliant player to learn from. Was there, I mean, what is it like when you meet, I don't know, Salah for the first time? I, I, I'm, I'm sort of thinking about that journey from being starstruck kid to teammate and it being a bit more normal what is how do you make that yeah, mine transition would have, mine would have been pre-season the first time I've seen them all and it was just it didn't feel real it felt like it was behind the screen the whole time yeah so you're like a bag of nerves at the start and then it's yeah. 
definitely. And how long does it take before it's just, oh, there's Mo, there's Virgil, or whoever it may be? No, it still feels the same. Does it, it yeah, still feel strange? 100%. Some of the best players in the world see them every day, it's just mad. I thought it was worth asking you all, because he's played such a big part in your early careers, and it has obviously not got too long left as Liverpool manager. Very simply, what has Jurgen Klopp done for you? For me, he's been a massive part of my football journey. Like He's given me my first chance at football. So uh, sort of owe everything to him, really. He's given me my, my sort of breakthrough. So, And I just want to try to cherish every little bit we get left of him because he's one of the best managers in the world. Yeah, I feel like you're going to get a lot of the same answers here, but <laughs> um, give me a chance at the club I've wanted to play for since, since I joined, really. Um, having the opportunity to work with someone with a world-class manager, day in, day out, I think it's going to be valuable for all our careers and um, it definitely stick with me. Yeah. Can you put your finger on why he's special? I think he's unique. I think his passion towards every game probably will be unrivaled. I don't think there's ever a game where it's, oh, it's only this game, it's this game. Every, every game is the team talks gets you right up for it really, um, gets you prepared for whatever game it is. Was he a big part of why you came to Liverpool, Bobby? Yeah, 100%. Even when I was about 16, when I was coming here, seeing like his passion for the game and stuff, yeah, he's a special, special manager. And I think the way, like Joel said, the way he gets the team up for any game, no matter what it is, he motivates everyone massively. And like, even when he's giving me chances coming off the bench and stuff, the, the freedom he gives me and what he says to us before I'm coming on, I just feel filled with confidence and ready to go out. Go on then, James, follow that. What's he done for you? I think like, everyone knows what a like, legend of a manager he is, I don't think I need to say any more on that. I think like, it just seems like, like as a guy, he generally cares about every, about every player, like on and off the pitch. If there's any problems, I feel like he generally cares. And, you know, I think that, that's probably not that common as much as him, you know. But I think personally, he's given us like, same as the rest of the lads. He's like give us memories I'm never gonna forget for the rest of my career, whatever happens. And I think yeah, just gotta can't praise him enough. I wonder if you'd feel the same, Lewis. He's given yeah. you memories that you'll never forget, and you're not gonna forget your debut and your first goal in a hurry, are you? Yeah, a lot of the same with what the lads have said. But for me personally, I feel like I owe him absolutely everything. He helped me fulfil my dreams, which was to play at Anfield and for Liverpool.